Hi there everybody, Mr Fit Geek here. Uh, thank you for joining. In this video today I wanted to give a very short video around some of the basic uh, to quite useful sound editing functions that are in iMovie. Uh, these took me a while to figure out but I've been using them uh, quite a lot and they're, they're just really nice little touches that you can add to your videos uh, to make it really really, um, yeah, just bring it to life a little bit more. So the first one here is basically Basically, when you add your video, now this is a video that I've recorded on my Sony camera, I use the A6000 and I sometimes use the built-in audio which I have done here and um, this was done through a, um, a lav mic into the camera so the sound uh, is part of the video footage. So you'll basically see here that at the um, on the, 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 the bottom here you have these sound waves that's just below your actual picture and your sound waves basically um, indicate the, the volume and how much sound there is and obviously here you can see I'm talking, 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 a little bit quieter, a little bit quieter, talking, 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 talking. So but as you drag your mouse over you'll see where you get your two arrows and this is quite simply where you can adjust your volume, make it quieter, make it louder. So if I, if I go up to 400 which is really loud my voice is just going to overpower everything but if you if it was a quiet track then here's your volume adjustment. I tend to because uh, if, if I either sit quite close to the camera or if I use a lav mic I tend to leave it between the 50 to 60 percent region which is normally um, pretty much um, oh hey text message thanks is normally pretty much good enough for what I need it for. Um, I also use my iPhone and I use it in the voice memo section that do not underestimate the power of your iPhone as a microphone the it is great it is really good now one of the editing tools I use is at the top here then above your video viewer you have your sound equalizer section here is where you can uh, reduce your background noise which is quite useful I tend to leave it at 50% but then you have your equalizer so you can obviously change some of the aspects of the, the recorded audio because I was using a mic that was built into my camera I've set this to bass boost just to give this particular video this one here of me unboxing the Sony PlayStation wireless headphones uh, give it a bit more depth so I've set it to bass boost but if I um, tend to use uh, the lav mic on me I will just use as flat as it tends to pick it up a little bit better. Now often what I do is add a music track to my videos so here is a music track that I've added this is actually a music track that I created using GarageBand love GarageBand I think it's absolutely brilliant and love the GarageBand that's now on the iPad as well they've updated it and there's some awesome new features and, and loops and drum loops and stuff like that which is awesome. But here is often really good if you want to, I set a music track to fade in, to fade out, but also certain elements of the music track to get louder um, throughout the video. So you'll see here where you drop in an additional track, it doesn't have to be a music track of course, it can be any anything else, this could be your voiceover if you recorded it separately. But here you'll see these two markers, these two dots, either side of a, of a track that's in. If you click and then drag these across, what these will basically indicate is the... Um, oh, no, I've dragged it too far. Yeah, I need to actually drag the... There we go. These will indicate... So here, for example, this is the where the music will fade in, and this is where it will fade out. So this is really nice at the start or the end of your video. And obviously you can set it for how many seconds you wish. Okay, so I have this track just on loop throughout my this entire video here. But another useful part, um, now the volume I set for this is about between 7, no more than 10% for a background music track so that it doesn't overpower. So now um, the other section that I want to show is basically how to adjust a particular portion of music or background track so in case you wanted it to get louder or much quieter or just edit certain parts of your music say there was something that happened in the background and you're like oh geez I don't need that to be there you just need to dip it out for a, for a, a second or two you're able to do this and quite simply all you need to do is just select where on the track you want to edit and then just just click M 
okay and then you just select another part where you want it to finish the, uh, the the volume adjustment and click M again and as you'll see it's dropped in these two little markers these two little blue markers then all you need to do is just hold your cursor between hold it for a second and then it comes up with this yellow um, it breaks like a subsection so just open the subsection so let's have this lasting for here we go four seconds and then if we adjust the volume you'll see here what it does let's just click away it's added in four extra dots here so you've got two at the top and two on the bottom for the volume adjustment so if we play this quickly what this then should do is have the background music quiet and then then we'll take it up higher to as I've adjusted it here So anyway, let's, uh... Okay, so you can see that it's really sort of brought it up there and then taken it back down again. The other, you can do some fine adjustments as well. So where you've got your bottom dot, if you drag this to one side and then if I do the other one to one side as well, what you then see is that now it's created a little bit of an arc. So if we play this again, it should obviously slowly adjust the music opposed to just then going loud, quiet. Well, and this obviously is just a bit more... Okay, so that just adds a real nice touch of how you can just, just you know, if you, especially if you do use music in the background, you might have a certain piece of video where you're doing a time lapse or where you're doing some slow-mo and there's no dialogue and you just want to have some music that you've created in the background just to play along with it and you want to adjust it for a few seconds, this is how you do it here. So anyway, so that's just some of the basic editing techniques for the sound on iMovie. So hopefully you found this video useful. Any comments, just leave in the, the box below there. And there'll be loads more videos coming up on iMovie soon. Um, I'll actually be showing you how I put my videos together um, and how, uh, and also some of the more kind of advanced editing techniques that are available as well. So as always, if you, you know the drill, if you liked the video, please give it a like. This is a new channel. So if you want to support it, please do like and subscribe that would be most appreciated and um, I'm doing this the lazy way here but this is me Mr Fit Geek and as I say look after yourself keep fit and stay geeky over and out for now thank you